All right, babe, I love you. I'll see you. Anything that you want me to do Put you on the flight, I put you on the yacht All this for you, yeah, yeah I'm just trying to express my love Hopefully it's enough Cause baby, all I see is you Is you Cause baby, all I see is you Yeah, cause baby, all I see What's good, Dainty family? Listen, they are officially moving Desiree to another room. I'm not even really in the right space to do an intro. I love y'all, appreciate y'all. This is the moment we've been waiting for. If you don't know, they are admitting Desiree to induce her. Right now it's Valentine's Day, but we don't know if she'll be having a baby Valentine's Day. I'm not gonna talk to y'all too much right now. I'm just gonna show y'all and show her getting transferred over to another room and we'll keep y'all updated. And, um, yes, make sure you click that subscribe button for us. I want to do breastfeeding. I want to try. Oh, just I'll just say both. Okay. That's where I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. All right. This will be our space for the next couple of days, right? We need to walk as much as possible. I know. Y'all, I'm nervous. Okay. We made it to our room. This is our room. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's official. It's official, babe. Listen, this is where the baby will be at right here. I could cry. You look beautiful, too. What time is it? It's 5 45 in the morning on Valentine's Day. I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I love you. I love you so much. The best woman. Well, by the time y'all see this, the baby's gonna be here. So I'm not gonna say y'all please pray for me, but just you please know. pray for her yeah. whenever you do watch. My post, my postpartum. Okay, pray for my aftercare. Like pray that I just have the baby get up and be like, I'm ready to go. Like yeah. got the baby right here. Things change fast. Yeah. You got this. All right, we'll keep y'all updated. <sighs> I'm um, I want her to get situated. My heart is very fast. It's all about you. The is now. It's all about you. It's your turn. So she will be getting induced. Desiree has got settled. She's chilling. Got these wonderful nurses over here. The vibe is definitely right. <laughs> they were just talking all this big trash. Now they all quiet and stuff. So I just want to give a shout out to them. And um, she's getting induced. And you'll be here tonight too? No. Uh, so you'll be here tonight. All right. So we'll see her tonight. God's will. My beautiful baby Desiree over there. Hi guys. It's um, so crazy. Like, hold on. Matter of fact, it's your day. Say what you was gonna say, babe. I was gonna say people that's been watching us from the beginning, y'all probably remember us in the same state, like literally the same state. I'm laying down, tired of talking, arm up, and Isaiah's over there. But room's much bigger, you know, elevated, but I don't know. I, it just yeah. took me back to when I had Jay. Guys, I'm exhausted. Been up for 24 hours straight. I don't know if I'm not high, no, none of that. I'm just tired. Right now, it's about Desiree. It's her last meal because she's getting induced. And whatever she's getting induced with, she's not able to eat after that. They said they're gonna give her a little grace period. So my baby is over here right now doing Uber Eats or DoorDash. I guess a McDonald's in this thing. Once she orders this food, your boy's gonna go down there and pick it up. And um, I want to see you grow up, babe, because I know it's gonna be moments you're gonna be like, I'm hungry. Like, and yeah. you know, all you're gonna be able to have is ice chips. You remember? I don't have a problem with that. I'm in here. This is a feeling I'm never gonna forget. It's different than Jay, y'all. Uh. And I think the main thing is, too, is making sure that I like support her, be there for her and just really create a memory. Like this is something that I waited for forever. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Did, did Was there an orange juice by any chance? Orange juice. Orange juice. Okay. okay, thank you. Honey. I got your food. 
got your food. You Let's eat together. You want to eat together? We're going to sit y'all up eat together. I'm so tired, y'all. Like, I just want to close my eyes. I want to see you take your first bite. It's your last bite for a while. Mm. Mm. Is it good? Mm. You sure you like it? Yeah, I'm going to get a piece of this pancake. Hold on. You see how fast things can happen in life, man? I know. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, what the hell? Um, I'm so ready for the baby to be here. I just can't wait to hold her. Just hold yeah. Her. Now it's here. Let's see yeah. how it be. We wasn't even really able to do a baby bag preparation and oh, yeah. all that stuff. Is it good, though? But, mm -hmm. it's good. I love you so I'm much. Glad that, um... We got in here. Yeah. Guys, yeah. on the real, it's about to get serious. It's early in the morning. It's about 7.40 right now in the morning. Yes. Um, and they said she should be having a baby by tonight. Yes, the view is nice, though. The view well, is nice. Uh, well, make sure you take it all in. And I was supposed to surprise Jay for Valentine's Day. You still can, though. I'll, I'll take a trip and, you know, maybe bring it up here. You know, we have a little surprise for Jay, but... This is beautiful, babe. Right, I don't think I'm tired. I'm tired, so. Well, hurry up and eat. Right. Eat your food and we get I some rest. Eating, I am. I'm just looking at you. I'm mm. just taking in this moment. Mm. You're my baby. Mm. This is something that we're you never gonna forget. Before they come in here, and be like, "Well, time to put in the <laughs> yeah." Let me. Well, they ain't putting hormone in me. Shit, I can eat whenever. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you some respect, but let me show y'all the little baby bed the baby's going to be born in. The little incubator, whatever you call this. This is so cute. Babe, it's for real. Don't keep reminding me. It's making me nervous. All right, so let me spend some time with her, eat with her, enjoy this moment. You can't eat no more, babe? Mm -mm. Come on now. You got to eat, babe. You're going to wish you ate it all. I'm trying. It just, I'm so tired. Well, get some rest. I don't want to force you. Got my mom on the phone. Say what's up, mom. Good morning. Good morning. All right, here you go with this Pastor Jamal Bryant stuff. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I love you. Love you too. Good afternoon. Your boy just woke up. It's literally three o'clock. Um, we're getting closer and closer, guys, to the time of this birth process. Desiree is still. So she just woke up, right? So this is beautiful. Doctors have to come in. She ate her food, left out like five minutes ago. I've been asleep for a while. They put like this pill in her mouth or her cheek. Um, it's like super small, but it's, dissolve, it's to dissolve in her mouth. Um, for her cervix to start dilating, then they're gonna give her something else for dilation. The doctor has came in a couple times and said the baby's uh, heart rate was going up and down and her contractions were happening every two, every minute, right? And she's only two centimeter dilated and that's not good. So at first, um, if it would've kept going, the doctor said she would've gave Desiree a C-section, but they got it calmed back down. They gave her some IV. Um, they gave her another type of medicine to stop the contractions from happening so fast at this stage. So at this point, it's just a matter of time. We're waiting. They're going to put another, um, like a medicine in her vagina um, to kind of get her dilated. She's still only 2.5 centimeters dilated, um, and everything's on track. Just giving y'all an update. Yeah, so they haven't induced me yet at all. The they, whole... haven't, they haven't induced her yet. Yeah, so the whole thing... The medicine that I had in my mouth was to uh, then my cervix. So now it's at 60%. So right. once it gets to like 70 or 80, then they're going to put the induction in it. Then that's one of the inductions. This stuff starts to take yeah. a couple hours, whatever. Like yeah. That. Okay. Desiree is in the middle of a contraction. Maybe this could take your mind off of what I'm about to tell you. So Jade is here, babe. Mm -hmm. Well, she's with Elijah, but I'm going downstairs to grab something. Okay. But I'm going to give her a, you know, Aww. I'm going to tell her everything's okay. All right. Her kisses, tell her mommy said hi, and I love her. Aww. My baby Jade is knocked out. Sleep. She's sleepy, sitting in her little booster seat. Oh, is she getting up? Is that my baby Jade? Oh, is that that? 
Hi. Can I get kisses? Mm. Why is it, Daddy? Why do that? Why do what? Why did you send in the back seat? I'm deep, but why did you do this? Why well, I'm sitting in the back seat? Mommy's about to have a baby. Where is it? She's a, at, we're at the hospital. Oh, Mommy wanted me to give you a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. I'm, we gotta have mommy call you on FaceTime, okay? That one left quickly. I already knew Jay was gonna be like distraught because she wanted to come with us. So she'll be coming to the hospital shortly, but I'm going back up here to relay to Desiree, really comfort her. And then at some point in this video, I'll be talking to y'all. All right, babe, so that didn't go as planned. Um, Jay was knocked out. I kind of woke her up. Why did you wake her up? I miss her. She missed you too, she started crying. So she'll be up here shortly though. Quick update, Desiree just happened to sit up, but before that, um, she had a lot of fluids coming from her legs. So she's trying to think if that's her mucus plug or her water breaking, but they just gave her some more IV fluid and they're about to do something called like a- Cook balloon. A balloon? Some balloon that's gonna- Cook balloon. Huh? Cook balloon. Cook balloon. Yes, so and that's gonna, um, it's basically a safer option than me doing the, the medicine because I had like a reaction to the medicine. So they're gonna do a cook balloon, which is more safer, which is like a balloon that's in filled, it's gonna be inside my vagina. Send it against my cervix to uh, open it up. Yeah, blow it up. It's gonna like expand it. Yeah. So just a little update here. It's currently, what time is it? It is like almost eight o'clock, Valentine's Day. Um, and yeah, you're just doing so good. You're so strong now. I love you. She's literally three centimeters right now, but the issue that they're having right now is that the baby's heartbeat is like, cause if you look right here, you probably can't tell, but in this area over here, you can see like the pattern. And so they can see when it drops and then they all rush in here. So they had her switch sides right now, but then they just brought in this balloon they said if that doesn't work they're going to put her on her knees and let the baby sit right in here so um they can take off the pressure take all the pressure off the umbilical cord i'm just informing you all um because of course y'all not here and i'm not really filming when the doctors are in here just taking it slow preparing for when she's actually delivering but baby you're doing a hell of a job i love you so much okay Relax, get some rest. They just gave us some medicine. They're gonna give us some more because it's not really helping. But um, I'll keep y'all updated. Before I go any further with this, y'all, make sure y'all just pay close attention. Desiree is not feeling the best. Things have gotten worse. When I say worse, as in contraction aspect. Desiree is getting a contraction every two minutes for about 45 seconds at a time. They stuck a balloon up her cervix to try to stretch it so she can dilate more. Currently, she is at three centimeters. She's calm right now, um, as you can see, but I'm sure as I'm recording, it won't be so calm. But what she has decided to do was um, go ahead and settle out for the epidural because it's looking like the baby's going to be born on the 15th at some point. Um, and it's currently the 14th and it's 1057. So it's not even like midnight yet and she's feeling these pains and I want her to be able to relax. Her back is hurting bad. I told him to bring this heating pad in. It's a water heating pad. So I'm gonna put this behind her back right now. And so soon, I'm gonna just have a camera, whatever I'm gonna do, just show y'all the process of an epidural. Y'all know it's very dangerous. You can't move. If you move, they make you sign a waiver just due to anything. If that, if that messes up at any point, like if she moves and she signed the waiver, that's her fault. Like she could be paralyzed. So I'm rubbing your back, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. When you feel comfortable and you feel like you can stand up. Oh, it's okay. I'm moving this out of the way for now. You need my help. So we're about to start on the procedure. That's okay. Yep. Okay. I know I gotta move out the way, baby, because okay. they coming right here. I just need to rub my back right now, okay. please. Right. Please. Got you. 
to the traction glowing. Oh my gosh. Do we have any hats like close by handy? Yeah, right across the hall. Pain is getting bad. It's getting bad. You got it, babe. You got it. At least it doesn't take an hour to kick in. Oh my goodness. Right now you're in a hole. You got this. So in between contractions, the best you can, hug that pillow, drop your chin, and push your back out, okay? Make yourself round like a C. I'm gonna touch your hips, so my thumb's gonna walk up and down your back. Whew. Does it have to happen during a contraction? I'm sorry. Oh! Does it have to happen during a contraction? What? Oh my. At the door? No, I'm going to wait till you're able to sit still. I'm going to put a drape on your back. A sticky sheet of plastic. Keep that soap separated. You got okay. it. You got it, babe. Sticky sheet of plastic. Okay, here it goes. And then I'm just going to wait for that. This is for the epidural. I'll tell you before I touch it again. You got this. Just don't think. You got this. She just got the epidural. That was a success. Now she's getting a catheter. And a catheter is basically how she uses the restroom. So, you're doing good. You're doing good. Feels much better, Huh? Feels so much better. For real? It was meant to be. I mean... Yeah. Oh, I don't like to, you know, put ideas in anybody's head, but I yeah. always recommend. So you'd be able to get some sleep tonight. Yeah. I'm tired, but every time I try to go to sleep, yeah, well, right up. Up. yeah. My fingertips was cramping. <laughs> sorry. No, it's all good. Deep breaths. You got it. You got it. You got it. One is out. And the epidural has kicked in. The catheter has kicked in. She actually just released some fluid without even knowing. Um, as you all can see, this is her fluids. Might be a little bit too much for some people, but I'm just keeping it real with y'all. It's 12, 19 in the morning, so it's no longer Valentine's Day. It is the 15th of February. So we'll see what's going on. They said the doctor ran to another surgery and she stated that she was going to try to come up here next, babe, and break your water. Break your water. Hopefully it breaks on its own. That's crazy. I just hope they come. Yeah, I want to see that. I want you to really, that'd be lit if you could stand up. I know. I can't break my own. But you got that epidural, see? I can try to sit up. And try to, like, just move. Yeah, no, 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 no. So it's currently 312. The nurse just came out of here and checked her cervix again. Desiree was telling me, I didn't believe it, or maybe I just wasn't listening that, um, seven centimeters. seven centimeters. So I'm seven and a half now, almost eight. So that means we only got two centimeters more to go to the baby, so we're, to the baby get here. But we're really waiting on my uh, bag to pop, so I probably need to move. Yeah, wa waiting on your water I mean, to break. My water to break. Said so. bag to pop. <laughs> So maybe I need to do a lot of flipping real quick just to try to get it, but maybe like sit up, lay back yeah. down, just put like pressure on it. Yeah. So it can pop. I mean, are you ready for that? You know, well, ready? I, 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 I want us to kind of just, yeah. You take your time, want to eat first. Yeah, let me I, eat. I, I'll relax. I have not ate y'all at all since earlier. So I um, got some IHOP on the way. So and she's doing way better pain wise, guys. Can't y'all agree? 
But I'm just happy to be able to kind of inform you all what's going on, let y'all know every step of the way. It's crunch time now, guys. I guess we could say um, it's about third quarter right now. Yeah, third quarter. Um, third quarter, maybe. Four. Yeah. What the fuck did you just say? Ten minutes till four. Ten minutes till four quarter. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. All right. Okay. You know, okay. So I'm exhausted, man. I got the same draws on. Man, just go yeah. to sleep. I keep telling him, guys. I like, feel like the time I go to sleep, what? I need time to prepare. I've been I'm, pacing. I'm not all gonna day. move. My my water. My, I'm not gonna force it. I'm gonna right. your rest. Okay. I need rest. So we should probably just, be hitting him up when like. After you eat your food. After I eat my food, you know, let him. We'll just take, man. I'm spending time with her. She's the main focus. It's like 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> she over here on live. That's how you know she's feeling good. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, I had that. Go on, girl. Hey, <laughs> Glenn. It's 4.10 in the morning. Hey, let's close our eyes. I keep y'all updated as best as possible, guys. And um, you talking to me. You the one need to get some rest. We both do. I know you. You checking on me more than I'm checking. I, I, I want to make sure. I'm good, checking on you. That's all that matters. I want to make sure we both like. Okay, at least I got some sleep. You seem like you ready to get up and go run a lap or something. No, I just feel good. Like I went from that to this. I, I'm in, like I'm thanking God. Like I understand. Okay. I'm enjoying it. So we're gonna get some I'm rest. Sure you good? Just, just make, just as much as you making sure I'm good. All right. You heard him. So we'll see y'all in the morning, whatever time. Remember I told y'all, it's 410 right now, so. And I don't like going to sleep without you. Oh, well. I don't, I couldn't sleep when I was, even though I felt good, I kept waking up. When, hold on, when do you? Because he's still up. I'm like, why is he still up? Oh, is it because we're in this environment? Because any other time, if we was at home, would you feel this way? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah. I think I'm going closer to you right now. Huh? Run closer to you. Oh, really? Okay. Keep that same energy. <laughs> I love you. I wish I could, but I know, babe. But them sacks still gotta pop down there, so I don't want. Hey, but you got change of robes. I don't got no change of clothes. <laughs> oh my god! But all right, man. Let me get some rest. I ain't got nothing. No. At all. Nothing. I don't got nothing. I haven't seen these doctors two days in a row. I understand. Two days is cool. But once you get the goddamn. Come on now. All right. She said I'm fine. Giving labor, birth, like it's a lot of people that's not here. A lot of men that's not here. Who cares about your clothes? Nobody's looking at you like, ooh, I'm gonna take a shower. You know how to make me feel good. Like you good. All right. Toodaloo. Um, Desiree just woke me up. Um, it happened so fast that I couldn't really catch it on film. But uh, Desiree's water broke. So they broke her water. Um, they wind up breaking it because the baby heart rate started slowing down. There's, and she pooped. So it was in the fluids and everything like that. Somehow they were able to detect that. I'm tired. <laughs> So it's 717, and you should be having, having a baby. in my lower belly. You said what, babe? I've been having contractions in my lower belly. So that's a good sign that I'm progressing. I'm not just staying at eight, and the baby is trying to come out on her own. They asked it, um, you know, did the baby, was the baby getting all his shots and different things like that? Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Like, when you have your baby, do you tell them you give them all the shots? Like... You could send for that, or we are hepatitis, something for the eyes, different things like that. But yeah, man, we here. I got a couple hours. Um, I went to sleep at four, four thirty, five. It's seven o'clock. I am still tired, but the way it's looking, it's no, like. No, no, they're gonna tell me. It's time to push. If it is that time and I don't have time to. We're going to jump straight to it. I'll talk to y'all afterwards. So, um, who knows? But I would love to talk to y'all before that happens. All right, y'all. So, I just wanted to take this time um, to kind of step away from Desiree, step away, 
and just gather my thoughts and just kind of really express my feelings to Desiree and to you all about this situation. Like, I just want to thank God for Desiree, man. Like, I don't think y'all understand. And me just sitting in this situation, it just, I have so much respect for women, what you all's bodies go through, the, the pain y'all endure in many different ways, um, how strong you have to be mentally. So, and, and I just, I can't go any further in this video without really just saying, babe, I thank you. I love you. Um, it's an honor being with you. I want to give you your flowers while you're still here. I want to take in every moment with you, good, bad, rough, great. And I'm just thankful. And the fact that you um, wanted to conceive my baby, um, start a family with me, with me already having another child, and you accept me for all my flaws and you accept me as me. So I just want to be your backbone, support you, and be there for you. And you know, I can get lost in talking in this because there's so much stuff, but they just want to really let you know I love you. And this video right here is very, very dear to my heart because it's just more so like I feel free. Um, our relationship is getting so much better, like <laughs> in many different ways. I can't do anything but just thank God. So it's, it's, it's a lot, but I want to focus on the baby. I can't wait for you to be here. Um, and you will see this when you get older, but you were just meant to be here. And, and God it placed you a part of the DZ family for a reason. So uh, we're going to get back to this, you know, video. Make sure Desiree's good. She's asleep right now, as y'all seen um, just a second ago. But hope y'all enjoying this video. And thank you all for your support and everything that you um all may put up with us some things you may agree with some things you may not agree with but uh, we're human and um we love y'all no matter what click that subscribe button and let's go get this baby out this rain when she started pushing and everything i thought i wasn't gonna be able to record um because it's just so over top of me saying no recording but this is like the table they had her pushing um and what the issue is right now the baby's not turning his head and going into the canal the way he's the way she's supposed to be and they're saying if this next process excuse me they're saying this if this next process does not work what they're going to do is um she's going to have to have a c-section so just updating y'all showing y'all what i got on and um, I'm trying to keep it together, guys. At some point, I felt like I was going to pass out, like, because I'm just looking at everything and I haven't got no sleep. I don't know what it is. So um, just throw a prayer up in the sky that everything goes the way it's supposed to um, and that we don't have a C section. But I'll keep you all updated and hopefully I can get this footage for y'all. You want to tell him, babe? Guys, I'm, not, I'm going to have to get a C-section. She's going to have to have a C-section. They said the canal is not opening up. The baby my is just pelvis, too big. Yeah, my, the baby is just too big. My pelvis is too small. So remember when I was like, I'm having like pelvic pain? That was why. Because her head was so big. And it was just putting pressure on my pelvic. So. And I'm not going to be able to film, guys. Dude, we're going to the surgery room. So I'm going to get as much as I, I can. They don't come in here. So I'm getting ready to put these things on my feet, y'all. Um, this hair cap, mask, body suit. Um, wow. Things change fast. Y'all know she pushed uh, Jade out to her vagina. So now she's having a C-section. She's handling it pretty good. She's talking to her mom right now. I'm updating all her family. And, um, yeah, man, it's... Oh my gosh. Take it easy. If they make you land, the doctor just left out of here and said that um, Dave was going through the. Okay. And call you all. Alright, so did you have any allergies to any medication? Oh, my God. Alright, ever have problems with anesthesia, nausea, vomiting, difficult wake up, difficult putting you to sleep? Mm -hmm. Alright, have you ever had a spinal or epidural done before? Yes. And I know you have one currently working well. Mm -hmm. 
your number on both sides? Do you, are, you, uh, do you, are you still feeling contractions and stuff? Um, just the pressure. Okay, just bit. pressure, but she yeah. doesn't go away. Okay. Um, I would say my left leg is more numb than my right. Okay. So. Okay. Pretty much, since you already have the epidural, what we'll do is once we get to the room, we'll put the same monitors you have on you now. You'll get oxygen through your nose, all right? Um, you'll be awake for the procedure, obviously. Um, I'll top up your medications with some more extra uh, numbing medication, so you may get more numb, you may not feel your feet for a little while, but you should still be able to move your legs. Okay, are you able to tell me what type of stitches? Um, I do not know. Oh, you don't know. No, okay. I don't know what type of stitches that surgeon is. Surgeon's preference, so okay. better to ask the surgeon. Um, most common complaints from the anesthesia is nausea and vomiting. So if it happens, if you feel nauseous, let me know. I can give you something to help with that, okay? okay. And then pretty much the risks of anesthesia is pretty low risk. Risk of the procedure is a bleeding risk. So if you required an immediate blood transfusion, would you be okay with that? Put my pants on. Okay. That's what I got on so far. Serious. We're about to start this C section. I I guess that's what you can call it. Your boys dressed out. Thank you to all the nurses and doctors. And see y'all when we get out. Alright, babe, I love you. I'll see you. We'll see you soon. Alright. Alright. Jesus yes, name. Do In Jesus name we pray. Sure that, uh, you got this, babe. You got this. In Jesus name, I'll drop a prayer down below in the comments for Desiree. We got this. You got this, babe. Whew. Literally no one in here. Like, I've been sitting here for a while. They're gonna run some tests on and everything like that. I'm really nervous. I'm really, really nervous. But it's in God's hands, so just giving y'all an update. And I am able to take the phones back there so y'all know your boy gonna be recording. Don't touch like anything. That huh? oh, you said don't touch anything blue? Don't touch anything blue. Okay. That's all sterile. You got this, you got it, you got it. You got it. Oh. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Out. Oh. The baby's out, babe. Oh. The baby's out. Oh God. Oh. Do you hear the baby? Yes. Dad, they're gonna call you. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. You did it. Oh my God. I don't know what I did. You did, babe. Oh. What are you feeling? Uh, just pressure. Just pressure. I want some food. The baby is officially out. But we can't see because we're behind. Oh, <laughs> oh crying. Oh, my baby. You baby? Oh, my goodness. Good job, good job, good job, you did it. She looks wonderful. Oh, thank you. Ooh. They said the baby's wonderful. Oh my God. Oh, it's okay. Get, um, it's okay, baby. It's okay. You did the hard part. You did the hard part. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The baby's right over here. Oh my goodness. I hear Oh, you got it. You got it.
Dad, her head is a little misshapen because she was trying to come out. Okay. Usually babies tuck their head in and come out this way. Okay. But this was coming out first, which is probably why she wasn't making it. Okay. Her head arch. And so her oh. head's going to be a little misshapen for about four days, five okay. days, and then she'll be nice and smooth and round. Oh. Oh. I know. <laughs> oh,